What's up guys? Welcome back to Gentry and Sons. So I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and ready for a good New Year's. So I'm going to put you guys out a big old long video today. We've got a lot to do. We've got two trucks to work on. So cab over, still giving us issues, still having injector problems out of it. We're on our second set and I just went ahead and bought a brand spanking new set. Not a reman set, not anything that's been rebuilt. Just a good set of, I think they're like 5915s, um, which would be just perfect for that truck. Nothing big, uh, just something that I want to make 450 horsepower, give or take 100 or two, and that's it. So got a good set of injectors for it, and the injectors for the Classic finally come in. So we're gonna try to get both those things done today. We got some bad weather coming. But first, since it's Christmas times and I'm feeling festive, guys, I am feeling festive. So we're going to give a 20% off. We've already discounted these things. And now we're going 20%. So we got something really, really big coming. And I really want to get you guys excited for this because I am pumped. It's my first one. I want to get you guys pumped and excited. But something big's coming. So we're going to do a 20% sale on merch today for the next, no, 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 not 24 hours. 48 hours, we're gonna do 20% off. So guys, go check out the merch store, gentryandsonstrucking.com. But we gotta get busy, so let's go. So we got the battery charger on it, we got the booster cables on it. If this thing will come to life, I'll be so happy. <laughs> That should have fired by now, surely. Should have been pumped up by now. Maybe it's just being stubborn. Crossover pipe under, and there's two blackbirds in it. That's why I got. That's why I got tape on it. Last pier build I yeah, sucked through like, it. Like Bring it on. If I got it, ain't sucking nothing through it right now. I know. <laughs> I know. Can't shut it off, but it is running. Hey, I'm telling you right now, that no bear, I'll put it up against anything. That is the baddest little motor or big motor. I was going to say there ain't nothing little about that motor. Well, mine ain't six, huh? This one's actually about 450. This one's about six right now. I ain't got nothing. Six, six horsepower. <laughs> I don't even think it's making six horsepower. Like about... Holy crap. So we found a cab over problem. Dang. Yeah. It's crazy how they're plastic, ain't it? Yeah. And it's got like a plastic. Man, good thing you, uh, See, like injectors. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted them new ones in it anyway. So it's supposed to look like Yep. That. Dang. Jeez. I told Dad, fuel pump, fuel pump, fuel pump. Yeah. I'm sorry. I really did think that there was an injector leaking down, but we put a used set of injectors in it when we started. So that's why I wanted to go with a new one. You got one. a gasket? Uh, probably. Be careful. Brax is going to get us some lunch. <laughs> Oh, uh, he drifts for a living. Have you not ever seen him driving? Yeah. That's all he ever does is drifts. <laughs> that kid, he's such a mess. <laughs> now y'all wonder where I get it from. 
control on these new trucks? It's no, crazy. where do you get it? That's from? where the tracks control off too. It won't spin. Uh, even I'll all, turn, mine turn it all the way off. It, it, that's when what it I, does. When it rained the other day real bad, I turned mine so off. This one it was on that anything. one? On that back of that? Yeah. Somebody had the regulator on the back of that fuel pump. That's kind of, yeah, you put it on. You can have it on both sides. Why would you want to do that? Hold it. That way uh, you don't you got back feed to the... So it regulates fuel? Yeah, you, right, so you got a new fuel pump, pump now. They go up into the I guarantee you, you hey, she's gonna oh, start. You know, uh, this is why they sold this truck. Oh, I know it is because they so, guys, there's fittings in every fuel line trying to get it to where it hold pressure. Is that what that, those, those, yeah. I can't speak. We those oh, fittings before. Yeah, so there's they got valves in every fuel line on it. <laughs> Just, and that's what threw me off about it because sometimes it had fuel pressure, sometimes yeah. like it was every time you started, it was doing that. Yeah, and then sometimes it act normal, and like if it runs better than it did, it's going to be insane how good this thing runs. Here's a bolt. see this the valves that they're tight let me pull this fuse out so it don't awesome. start that one there is <laughs> off -loaded. you can barely move it see it look at it that's exhaust exhaust is way looser than that it's supposed to be, it should be like if it ain't off 26 or it's on load that was not all low. Stop it, don't blow it. Oh. Again, bump it. Feel it. It's probably. It's supposed to be what twenty six. Yeah. That definitely caused a miss. No, I mean, it, but it was like a dead miss. It has to be on the exhaust side because you didn't hear it coming through the intake. You can hear it popping through the in exhaust when you're. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Feels like it's only like ten thousand. Supposed to be twenty six, and it's off low right now. Oh, well. Yeah. All right, so we had to give it up, guys. It just got too cold. And the road's a solid sheet of ice. So me and Brax is going to go make sure everybody gets home safe from uh, some of the places we know everybody's at work. It is solid ice, look. Because this thing goes good in the snow. That's... Holy crap, it ain't going, is it? I'm barely touching the gas. <laughs> Come on, baby, you got this. Big old power stroke power. Ooh, we got somebody in a ditch right here. Oh, that's that Mustang. That's the... Uh, um yeah that's the darn pizza person he lost his hat. oh man he did didn't he i bet he doesn't get it out of the road
Oh, there it goes back into the. You need a pull? Well, she's stuck. Oh, that one's in the gate. I got, uh, I, I got someone coming to get me. So. I could probably pull you up out of the way. Oh, look, he's stuck. Oh, is he in the ditch? Yeah, he's in the ditch. Oh, there he goes. He's good. I know him. Um, I can pull you up out of the road, probably. Yeah, if you don't mind, that'd be great. Or I could probably drive it. Drive this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me pull up out of the way. Saved a pizza man. Yeah, no problem, brother. All right, we got one out. Come on, Brax, let's go. Go rescue some more people. All kinds of people are still playing. Man, I'd love to drive that car down for him. <laughs> I love it. Sounds it did sound pretty good. I was on the, I had a rib dub, didn't I? So I'd turn the traction control off. We're sitting in a bad spot. Yeah. Anybody else down there in the ditch or are they good? Yeah. <laughs> what? We ain't going in the ditch. Unless we intend to. We'll go up here and do a 360. I think so. Oh yeah, this is where everybody's gonna be in a ditch. Heck yeah, it is. Bro, you see that? What's he doing? So bumpers almost off. Oh, that car wreck. Yep. Oh man. Take a cab over out and do some donuts. I bet it'll do one right here. A donut? You think it'll do a donut? I don't think it will. I think so. I don't know if it's slippery enough. <laughs> it is? Yeah. See if I'm doing donuts, ain't he? Yeah, here he comes. He's coming after us. <laughs> oh well. They can pull us over if they want to. Yeah. We're just out doing our services, ain't we? Yeah. It's out doing some good deeds for the other peoples. He's stopping. Oh, I don't he's going. over surely not in this weather are you pulling us over he might though he's way back there 
That was rapid acceleration. That's what that was. <laughs> That's probably what the ticket would be. This thing is definitely a beast, ain't it, Brax? I mean, it goes in the snow and ice like it's nothing. That is amazing. If you're not scared to push it, it will flat out go. And it handles it good. Like, I would feel safe even Braxton driving in this stuff. I mean, don't get too crazy with it because it is, you know, there's any condition that these things ain't going to handle. This is the factory tires on it, too. We just pulled somebody else out, got their car out of the road. And now we're going to go home. We went to Walmart, got us some meat. Go fire up the old smoker, do you think? Uh, by this time, a lot of people's home. So uh, we will probably come back out and check the roads in a little bit. But tomorrow, we got to get these trucks going and get them out of here. What'd you find, baby? It looks like the wind got a hold of the chicken coop. The wind did get a hold of the chicken coop. Holy crap. Look at the eggie. You having fun in the snow? Yeah. Where's mommy and Huddy? Oh, let's see if we get this Peterbilt fired up. We've got to get the stickers on it. Get it out to the tire shop and some brakes and stuff on it too. And we got to fix the lights. You gonna fire up today, baby? Detroit for you when it ain't two degrees. It's like 21 degrees. I see you, babe. Come here, Belle. Come on, let's see what you got. What do you think about the snow? Huh? What do you say? I think it's colder than crap. Christmas is over. How'd you be stupid in that bad road? Wreck my truck, boy, I'm gonna wreck you. I heard you had to self-insure it because of you. Mm. Golly bum guys, it's cold. Alright, where is the... Well, dang! She ain't gonna come out of the driveway. Thing cheats to life, baby. 
she's going to be a beast. And I just ordered some new tires for the cab over. So these here we just noticed. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but there's a little bit of dry rot looking. I'm sure the tire's not dry rotted, but it just, I don't like being a cab over. I'm not going to take no chances. So Brax is going to spend some more money and just get him some new tires put on it. So, and these back here, we ran these out for a little while. So they're getting down to where they're ready to be the regroove mate. Uh, so we went ahead and ordered a new set of drives for it. We already put two on it. So we're gonna put the other six drives on it and then two new Firestone 591 steers with a double decoupling ring. They just seem to run better on a cab over. I don't know why. And it don't search, you know, it don't hunt when it's going down the road when it gets in a tough spot or not even road. That extra decoupling ring, I don't know why. It just seems to run and drive better. Okay. Yep. Let me take these off and put the ones that match it. Like some little ones? Or big ones? I like when you put some floaters on it or something. Nah, it'd be all right with the ones we're putting on it. So we got to run this out in the morning, get the tires put on it, and then it can go back on the road, Brex. Yep. She's been tires? serviced and she's good to go. Need to get a bath. It's so polished. It is dirty. What with it? Oh man, they didn't scratch their new bed up. Look at that. Well, it's already been a little scratch Yeah. Well, it's going to happen. Let's see how good her paint's holding up on her trailer, though. Looking pretty good so far. It don't take long to get them, get the paint messed up on them, but it's actually holding up. I'd like to see it clean. Yeah, it is. Check her out though, three boats like it's nothing. And hopefully, I think what this thing's been on like six loads already. I mean, we have ran the wheels off of it already since we've had it. And then we had that one little incident where the boat got damaged, but it's well paid for that since. And the trucks, a couple more loads to pay for itself. We just gotta get pay for the tires now that just put on it because they ain't cheap. All right, it's time to plumb in a fuel pressure gauge. See what kind of fuel pressure we got. See if this will work. Oh yeah, we are good. Check it out. For a nice big fancy one comes, we can just leave this one on here. All right, we got a fuel pressure gauge. That's fuel pressure. All right, guys, I got the injectors in the 14 liter. Just got it put back together. And let's see if we can't get a nice cold start out of it. Oh, come on, baby. She should be getting primed up. Oh, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Let's see what kind of oil pressure we're gonna have. Now that sounds way, way better already. Even on a cold start. Good oil pressure.
bank sounds healthy now, boys. Woo! No more shaking. Just smooth the seal. Heck yeah. That's a lot smoother. I think it sounds way better. What? That other valve, we just stuck another one on there. Yeah. It opens up at 8 to 10. That's where it should open up as, 8 to 10 pounds. And then it should build the pressure as it goes. Yeah. Well, the other one, after it opened up, and then I let the bleed down, it was leaking off as soon as I right there at 8 pounds. But don't make yeah. sense is running. It's running, it's only got 12. I wonder oh, if it is the injector just dumping fuel off. That's what I was thinking at number four, maybe. It'll make no sense, those new injectors yeah. being bad. Um, no sense. All right, let's see if she got the mess anymore. Oh, wow. Dang, that sounds way better. You hear that, son? Braxy, you hear that? Hey, where's your boots at? Where's your boots? Uh, oh. Why? Oh, that FLD just rolled up in here like it owns the place. Pretty much does own the place. Dude, that's a sexy truck over there. I was recording it. Andrew's loving it. He wants it back in. Sure, buddy. You like his truck and stuff, Andrew? That's why Uncle Timmy's your favorite, huh? You're about to plant your butt in the baddest right around. You ready to ride, buddy? That's crazy how long it takes to get parts anymore for these. 14 later. If I had to switch it over to a uh, DDEC 4 ECM, I could have had them the same day. Oh, the ECM's an issue? No, it's a DDEC 5, so this has got a set of their Bosch injectors, different, different style injector. They're a plug in style, they suck. Brax on the right or what? Don't leave it there. Things of 450, give or take a hundred or two. I bought another P2. Um, it's it's not really a project truck, but it's a fleet truck. Like it ain't all fancy and stretched and it's That's something. Cool. Yeah, you just put a driver in it and let them go. I mean, it's got nice fenders and chrome and stuff on it. Be another fleet truck. It ain't gonna really be a project. Needs a windshield, so 
Besides that, windshield and a quick paint job on this girl, she'd be right. Well, guys, I just got a nice little no-no. Or I'm going to get in a nice little no-no. What did you say I was doing 61? 62. 62? <laughs> oh, jeez. 62 and a 45. Was it a 45? <laughs> it was a 45. Oh, crap. That sucks. Dang. <laughs> Dude, I test all my trucks right here. Well, this guy was super cool. So he just gave me a verbal warning. Thank you, brother. <coughs> that was it. Dude. Oh, can't believe you got pulled over in this thing. <laughs> Dude, he's back there. He was so cool, though. Yeah, he's super He cool. could have ruined me right then. That's why he done that, too, I bet. He came up and he's like, well, just letting you know, verbal warnings are a thing. Written warnings going to record, so I'm not going to give you one. You guys take it easy. Then it's all out. Very cool guy. That thing's bad? That's bad. Is that a power surge unit or inverter? It's a power surge unit. When it comes down below 12 volts, yep. it shuts everything off. Really? Yep. That's what it means. Really? Really? All right, guys. So, before we finish off today's video, I've got to know what color do we paint this classic? So all the guys are going through it. We're probably going to run it like it is for a little bit. I'll probably take these fairings off. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, we're we going to do some stuff to this thing. Yep, they have literally added this to it. Can you not take it off and yeah, just run? Yeah, I'm taking it off. I'm bypassing it. Good deal. 
So windshields will be here tomorrow. Windshields will be here tomorrow. Windshields will be here tomorrow. She's yeah. serviced. The gauges are fixed. All the stuff that we needed to fix is fixed. Um, now we get the windshields on it. So this one will be a little while before we do stacks and all that kind of stuff. But we're going to go out and let it make some money. So this is a unplanned expense here. So I was actually building this truck for a friend of mine. He didn't want to have any more problems out of it. So we went to this whole thing. I'm talking, did the bearings of the transmission, clutch, motor. This is a low compression 14 liter Detroit. Um, like we just went through everything. It's got air out on the front. It's got new brakes, drums, wheels and tires. And these are Continentals too. These ain't no junk tires. They ain't no Chinese tires. So uh, wasn't really planning on buying this truck but he just want to take some time off. He wants to do some farming and stay local. And, um, you know, his wife don't want him going back out on the road. So uh, we come up with a, an agreement and we bought another classic. So guys, welcome the classic to the, to the Gentry and Sons truck and fleet. I do want to paint it, but we ain't going to paint it right now. We're going to run it for a little while. But the truck is in, it's a pretty solid truck. It really is a solid truck. So let me know what you guys think. Should we paint it? What color should we paint it? What all should we do to it? Or should we just put it out on the road and let it go make some money? I don't know. I think that's a good idea, don't you? Yeah. It needs a little bit of paint here, even if we just prime it. I mean, I really think we should at least just put it in one solid. It needs something. Dude, make it, make it bed liner black. Dude, I would love to bedliner it. Just bedliner the whole truck. Murdering it out? Yeah, it would look good. It's crazy how the paint looks on it. Because look at the frame on this thing. Even all the stickers are still on it. There's no rust on this truck anywhere. Ah, turn it. Holds air for two, three days, no air leaks. Well, we've done a lot of work to this thing. About 30 pounds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Purring like a kitten now. Oh, yeah. Yep, sound like. I heard it. I go, oh, that is not that truck over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, we're cleaning up afterwards. We just, now we know it's running right. Mm -hmm. Not pecking or anything, is it? No, it sounds good. 60 pounds of oil pressure. Alright. Oh, baby. We got her back running. She's running good. Got it back together. Just got done checking all the tire pressures. So I am waiting on a switch to come in, but it should be here tomorrow, hopefully, for the uh, gear shifter to put my jakes on the gear shifter, one, two, three stage, and a thumb push button for your cruise. So me and Brax is gonna go ahead and test drive it, make sure it is good to go. Uh, Cause I do have a driver that's getting ready to take this thing out on a trip, guys. It's like sending your baby off to college, but I think it's gonna be a pretty cool truck to be out on the road representing our fleet.
straight forward like you used to. the cab over is running good now so two different sets of injectors which this set i understand this is a used set this is something i had in a burnout truck and another truck so even back when i was sled pulling this is the injectors that we used and uh, you know we don't really do that stuff anymore we really right now we're trying to focus on our business and family and you know trying to create a good place for these truck drivers and stuff to come so we decided to put the smaller set in it. This is a smaller set. This is a reman set of injectors. They're brand new. Or brand new reman, I guess you would say. The only models they have on it is that one cattle trip that I pulled with them. And then, um, no. Yeah, yeah, that and the Christmas parade. So, um, the reman sets just don't seem to be what they used to be. So, we will be buying brand new. If we can find brand new, we will be buying brand new injectors from here on out. I'm not going to try to get them rebuilt or put rebuilt injectors in i just had a friend same thing did a reman set of injectors and had some major issues like i mean filled his whole crankcase full of oil so unless i have city diesel rebuild them which they are so busy it's such a good diesel shop to go to uh they it's hard to even ask them to take injectors just to have some on the shelf so uh that place is super busy super good shop to have on your side but i don't want to overload them with stuff that ain't necessary but anyways that's going to finish off today's video guys i appreciate you coming and watching of course we love you guys and we'll see you on the next one